Hi, in this video, I want to share with you my low carb grocery haul. Also at the end of the video, you will see my favorite teas and chocolate. Here I have two two pound bags of Brussels sprouts. And then here we, I got uh, some chuck steak. One I'm gonna make into a roast and the other one I'm going to slice up and use it for a stir fry. Um, I also grabbed some eggs so that I can do some boiled eggs and make some out of some deviled eggs or just have boiled eggs on the run. Here are some egg wraps of cauliflower and they're like little crepes, thin crepes that has zero carbs and is made out of very good ingredients. It's just very clean eggs and cauliflower and olive oil and only has 30 calories per um, sheet and three grams of protein but the great thing is is that it can is pliable so you can definitely wrap like whatever I use it for taco meat um, and so you can definitely use that um, I have some broccoli here that I bought but I was I used it already but so it's out uh, I love like tuna in water because it is gives you like if you're under your your protein it's about 16 grams of protein and the calories is not so much it's about 70 calories only for a pouch and you could just throw it on some salad um or just you know sometimes i just eat it out of the little pouch when i'm really hungry here i have some mackerel in olive oil and i love this king oscar brand uh it, it's really tasty uh, for me anyway it has omega-3 and it's really healthy for you it's packed in olive oil so as you can see the calorie is is pretty high it's like 240 calories um, the amount of grams of protein is 16 grams and um, i just eat it straight out of the can um, you can definitely try different things with it i used to do pastas with it but uh, since i don't eat pasta anymore i just eat it out of the can especially when i'm low on my proteins and i haven't hit like all of my calories for the day yet i'm trying this new uh, sugar replacement called swerve it's a erythritol too but it's the confectioner like a very fine powder like the way you would you know have like powder sugar and so i think that this would make like when i'm doing dark chocolate or my if i'm baking it will um, have a smoother taste if i'm doing um if i ever decide that i want to do frosting or whatever uh, but anything that needs to be mixed in without that granular um erythritol taste or texture here are some of my favorite teas. Here is my Earl Grey black tea that I love to drink. I like to drink this Earl, Earl Grey um, at nighttime, especially because it's decaffeinated um, and just plain, just, just plain or throughout the day. I also enjoy green tea. Um, when it's, I just drink it hot and plain also. Um, I'm not particular to any brand. Now this is my favorite tea, is this uh, brand right here. Uh, chai tea, the French vanilla is my favorite. But every time I have um, French vanilla, I bought some more, but uh, it's, I'm running low. Um, and then this is the regular, just a regular without the vanilla in it. And that one I can definitely drink straight up. But when it has vanilla, I always want to add like creamer to it and some sweetener to it. This is some ketogenic creamer that my husband picked up for me. Typically I like um, heavy cream in mine, but this has actually coconut uh, MCT oil, some butter and um, a little bit of salt. So I like it. Um, it doesn't stir like as easily as you would creamer, but that's usually, you know, dry powder forms of creamer. And I love to put this in my French vanilla chai tea. Um, that's the only time I use this, this powder. Uh, creamer. I like to mix these two chocolate together to get a stronger, uh, a higher chocolate percentage uh, because the Gardelle is 100 and then the Lily's is about 58%. Uh, but when I mix it together, then it's like a perfect mixture. I hope you enjoyed this mini grocery haul and I hope that you're doing well and I'll see you on Thursday for my update. Goodbye.